I am happy because today uh, we have a special guest that without whom our life in the sporting would not be what it is. Contrary to what our brother Bob calling more might have said, it is not all MPs who should be viewed in that vein. Because the person I'm about to invite is very dear to us. She's the mother of sporting. Because under the new constitutional dispensation, we now have a special uh, committee responsible for sports, culture, and the arts, including labor matters and uh, social protection. And with us, we have the vice chair of that parliamentary committee. It is their responsibility these days to add more money, even where there is none. And before I continue saying so many of those goodies, I would like to take this singular opportunity to call Honorable Galgalo just to greet you so that you can see who is in front of our success. Welcome, Mishimiwa. the doping issue, I think this is a uh, thing that will erode our sporting uh, career and we need to really defend that. So I would urge all the players in sport to ensure that Kenyan glory that has grown over the years is not eroded because of doping. I'm not only in the, as the vice chair of this committee, but also in the budget committee. So we'll ensure that the pledge of the, uh, the Jubilee government is fulfilled by ensuring that the five stadia in the, in, in the country will be done. Uh, on the issue of taxes, and uh, I think on the issue of VAT, I'm happy that at least it's uh, sporting gear or uh, equipment are duty free. On the issue of VAT, I think that is one of the legislation that will urge the ministry to develop and bring it to our committee and I'll be in the forefront to defend that on your behalf, just to ensure that we, do, we don't have VAT on sports. I would also urge you to expand sporting to Northern Kenya. I want to make that plea. And I think I've been whispering to Paul Terragat Foundation to ensure that I think the next area where you'll get heroes and heroines in sports will be in Isiolo and Northern Kenya, and I'll be your champion. And I think I can do that. So I, I want you also to face that direction because we have quite a number of young women, youth or uh, boys and girls who are interested in sporting. And you, are, you know exactly what is happening in Northern Kenya now, especially in Marsabet and Isiolo, on issue of conflict. And I think we need to engage the energy that we have. And that can only be done through sporting. Um, I also want to appreciate all the funders of course, all the money cannot come from government. It's very difficult. We have very tight uh, budgets in many things. But let me thank Safaricom and all the sponsors of this event. I want to assure you that a sporting nation is a healthy nation. So if you are putting my, your money in sporting, you are not uh, throwing away your money. You are just putting in a very healthy nation, and that is very uh, good. I would also want to say that a sporting nation is a united nation. I'm sure if you look at this gathering, we have people from different parts of this country. This will build national cohesion.